Hello friends, today we have very good words. Some of them are extremely useful and we are using them in our day to day life. Begins with the respect, esteem, regard. You say, no, I have very high regard for some people. Esteem, we hold people in esteem. Respect, we give respect to others. Give respect and take respect and so on. We say, so here we go. We give great respect to all senior citizens. That's a sign of a civilized society where the juniors are giving respect to senior citizens. Second one is we hold our teachers in very high esteem. Very high opinion we have. Yes. We must pay our regards to those who guide us. That's a natural justice. When somebody is guiding us, we must pay regards to them. All right. Now the second set is restraint, restriction, curb. All the three words mean the same. Restraint, limits, they said limits. It is good to put restrain, restraints. Restraints, it is, it is put, good to put restraints on our children's conduct. Restraints. And then the second one is the warden has put restrictions on his ward's movements. Ward's hostless movements. They are not supposed to uh, come late to the hostel. That is something. And then the third is generally people don't like putting curbs on their freedom. Uh, limitations, you know, limits on their freedom they don't like. Three, revenge. Vengeance, retribution. You have got all these words here. Revenge is wild justice. This is a famous statement by Francis Bacon, the English, first of the great English essays. Essays, Francis Bacon. Revenge is wild justice. And second is vengeance destroys both him that takes it and its victim. If vengeance destroys him who takes vengeance and also the person who suffers it. And the some say retribution by Nemesis is only natural. Nemesis, the Greek goddess of revenge. Retribution, punishment, and revenge, so to say. Why? And fourth one is reverence and veneration. We approach sacred objects with reverence. Sacred objects with great reverence. Saints attract our veneration because of their holiness. They attract our veneration. We feel like uh, worshipping or venerating. Yes. And number five and the last for today, rude, impolite, discourteous. Never be rude. To anyone is bad manners. Can be stranger, can be friend, familiar or unfamiliar, anyone, but you should not be rude. Rude people are impolite in their dealings with others. Some people are born rude. So they are impolite with people. Only very few students are discourteous towards their masters. There are very few. Maybe uh, one or two in a class of 50 or 100, you will find discourtes towards their miss, not showing any respect, not obeying them, see, not following their words or not minding their guidance and so on. That is discourteous. So there are very few students. 99.99999 percent <coughs> students are. are they won't be openly discourteous. Some of them are very discreet in that way. <laughs> they, they, will, they will be discourteous, but they will not show it to their masters. And their masters won't do that and know that. They will hide it. So they are, they are, there are such students. There are such students, but most of them are very courteous towards their teachers. I think these words are very good, you know. Courteous, discourteous, reverence, then veneration, uh, then you have got vengeance, retribution. So very good words, so to say, you need them 
in your day-to-day -day life and so I hope that it is useful to you. So till we meet again, bye, have a nice day.